What's going on, guys? <clears throat> I'm just kind of looking through what I have for stock and just kind of uh, have it all laid out. Um, I'm going to do that show with Eagle Gardens here on Saturday night and probably get into some of the ideas that I was doing when I was actually breeding some of the, what I feel are some of the really standout clones that we were passing around 10, 15 years ago. <clears throat> but beyond that, I want to give some shout-outs to a couple of people that definitely helped me regain some genetics that I worked and um, some swaps we did that were re-swapped and all kinds of shit, really. So give you guys an idea like how, you know, to me it's not how many different varieties you have. It's where they're from and who they're from and what you have. All right, so it's not like I have a whole lot, but I feel I do because it's not the quantity of what I have here, but... Okay, like, for example, Doobie Duck, you know, great guy, excellent photographer. <coughs> um, he sent me a uh, Rocket Bubble and some Erd Pure, Erd Pure Tea hybrids and Disco Biscuit or something, but Midnight Biscuit. But, you know, why, what interests me is that Erd Pure Tea is from Espion in, uh, over there in Europe, and it's a Strawberry Dutch line, you know, and that's just why that was of interest at me at the time. And then over here we got like Motor Rebel. There you go, brother. I still got the Purple Butters Harawanas, the originals from 08, the F1s, and then Oregon Kid, those Banano G's. I hybrid your Banano G clone mom to quite a few things. I was actually going to work a sweet version of it and still have the opportunity to, so I might do that. Uh, Urkel, I had the mom across to a couple things. Purple Butters. That skunk nest pile right there, you know, that's an interesting pool. Look at that, skunk number one cross to number two for the mother, and skunk two to super skunk for the father. So it's a pretty good fucking skunk pool. And that's kind of the idea, how I look at genetics. It's not, you know, look, at there's some Boggs original LSD. There's some Matatunuska Valley Thunderfuck cross to a, a G13 hash plant. I think that was Indian that put that out. There's a banana dog that I made cross to Ortega. So there's Texas Kid. There's your Ortega held still. So, you know, they're still out there. We just got to start talking about them and get everybody familiar with what really made each of these varieties unique. So looking forward to getting really into all this stuff. All right. Stay tuned, guys.